Yeah, I forgot to show you the mission. This is the mission. You just go on Saturn, not Jupiter. Saturn. Yeah. Don't listen to me what I say. Usually something very different. But yeah, you go Saturn, you go Sisian. So I don't know how to pronounce this. Piscanetskis, you know, this this beautiful mission over here. And you just do it a couple of times. That's it. Soul is what we need, man. Hello, beautiful people. <clears throat> Hello, beautiful people. My name is Strife. And today we... Well, it's been a long while, to be honest. I haven't played Warframe in a long, long ass while. But today we're actually testing something that I've wanted to do in a long time ago. We are going after an Orkin Cell farm. Now, Orkin Cells are one of the main resources in Warframe that you need for almost everything. Everything that you build and try to, you know, create in this game. And yeah, the more you have, the better. Well, don't tell me a fucking stalker is appearing here now. I mean, I do deserve being erased. Suda! You're way too mean. You're vicious. Opal. Okay, this is one of the ways you gotta escape that. Alright. So basically, we're, we're going on a little, little place called Fulfilla? Fulfilla? Nope. Let me be perfectly clear. This place has a lot of, well, not hate, but doubt. A lot of doubt about how efficient the farm actually is. So Saturn, Piskinas, not Pfefe, or Pfefe. Biskinas, I think it's. I'm probably still butchering it, but you know that's that's me. Hey, I, I'm the dude who butchers things. Things, okay. <laughs> anyway, point being is, uh, Biskinas is actually one of the places that people uh, like to do f the farm of Orkin cells. But a lot of the big players and a lot of the other you know YouTubers and uh, streamers actually recommend different missions. Now this is my advice for this place because this place actually helped me a lot. Like I, I got a boost for 40 uh, platinum, which I actually made out of selling a couple of you know uh, prime parts, and it actually gathered about 20 plat. I mean, uh, sorry, <laughs> orkin cells for about I, uh, I want to say one hour or less you know I, I was just goofing around just farming in this place a couple of times and i got about 20 20 to 25 uh orkin cells and uh i'm sure i could have gotten more if i just ran out uh, all over the place like the episode you're seeing right now and just open every locker because there, the other runs i got about six between four and six so yeah that's not much to be honest, if I run a little bit longer and if I did, like I said, a little bit more work, I'd probably get more. I'd probably get to 30 or maybe 40 about an hour. So I think that's a pretty good statistic here. Like, if you're not getting this amount for an hour uh, with, with the boost, that 40, that 40 becomes 20. Like 20 Oricon cells per hour is not bad calculation, to be honest. And I'll be happy to have 20 Oricon cells each, uh, each hour. So, yeah, definitely. And when they're actually, you know, attached to a, to a tentacle, after a little while they explode and free the tentacle for a new enemy to be stuck there and get the effect from my mod. And also this uh, gives me more chance of, you know, boost dropping, I mean, uh, drop, bo drop boost and stuff. And uh, you can see for yourself how many, <laughs> how many supports I have over there for, you know, life support system. And there you have it! That's a 10 Orokin cells, which is actually 5 without the double double boost. So. Yeah, look at the bonus uh, affinity. It's not that good, guys. So this is definitely not for, for farming affinity. Definitely not farming experience for your weapons and leveling up. But this is a very good way to earn a little bit of stuff. Like, you got 260 endo. You have a decent amount of credits, almost 30,000. Nanospores, we got half coordinate. Yeah, deton detonite, ampule, and 10 orkin cells, which is amazing. So guys, if this guide actually helped you anyhow, well, please do leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what do you want me to do next, because I'm actually open to suggestions. Uh, right now, I'm just jumping in between games, trying to find a, you know, a solid ground where I actually enjoy. 
but with my jobs and everything else I'm doing, there's not a lot of time for that. So I, I'm still trying to, you know, adjust to the everything of my life changes and whatnot. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am Strife, your boy. And as always, I'll see you all with the next one. Bye-bye.